Hello everyone, today we're going to create a reset sub so that we can reset our form and we're going to do this uh, by using a loop so that we don't have to specify the name of each of the text boxes like we did before. So if we just have a look here, um, in order to reset the text boxes here, we had to name each of the text boxes um, and then say set the value to null. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a loop so that we don't have to specify the name of them. Okay, because um, there's an option that we can use in VBA which will loop through all of the controls on the form in turn. Um, and then we can use the if statement that I showed you last time um, to then say if it's a text box, then clear it. So let's do this. So what we want to do here is I'm just going to create a new private sub and I'm just going to call it reset here. OK, um, and then I want to declare a control variable. So I'm just going to call it dip, uh, object control as control there. Um, and then what we want to do now is we're just going to type for each object control in me.controls and then next object control. So what this is going to do here is it's going to get all of the controls um, in me.controls, which are all the controls in the form, and then it's going to pull each one in turn into this um, variable here called opt-control, and then it'll go to the next one. So what we want to do for each one of those is we want to check if it's a text box. So we're going to say if type name of object control equals text box and then close our if statement so we're just checking the type of each of the controls and saying if it's a text box then do this which is just going to be object control dot value equals blank so just to explain again um, what this is going to do is it's going to get all of the controls on the form and each one in turn it's going to say if your type is text box then make yourself blank and then go to the next control on the form and do the same thing. Um, so the reason that we're checking if it's a text box first is that for um, you may remember that like for labels, for example, um, we need to use caption instead of dot value. Um, so you'll get all sorts of error messages if you try to use dot value on a control that doesn't accept that as an option. Um, so we do need to check that it's a text box first. So let's have a um, look at this. So what we're going to do here is under the reset option, let's get rid of these clears. And if I just run this, I'll just show you that it doesn't clear it anymore. And then here I'm just going to put call reset. Um, and so what that will say now is when we click the button and it says reset, then call the reset sub, which we just created here, um, and then update the caption again. So I'll just show you this working. Yay. Um, I would also recommend putting this call to reset um, within the form load as well, um, just so that you know that every time you load the form, it's going to be clear. Um, so yes, um, I hope that was useful for you. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below. Um, the next tutorial in the series is going to be message boxes. So thank you for watching.